this is my mobile this this mobile is maybe mercury but now if i throw this mobile and i buy an iphone then that iphone is not mercury anymore then that becomes venus so venus is the only planet which can become any other planet your your mercury can never become venus it's impossible but venus can become mercury venus can become anybody you know like uh, venus can also become the moon it's like the mother who is always posting the kids photos in instagram she's actually venus so if a person is drinking alcohol alcohol comes under saturn but he's drinking international like branded so so he's experiencing venus uh, a health freak is taking uh, orange juice that is like mercury but you add chia seeds you add you know flax seed you add uh, avocado <laughs> you add almond milk you add what what was that stevia <laughs> then that becomes and that's venus it's no more mercury I mean. <laughs> so you want you want to take a car you go from one place to the other <laughs> you you buy a mercedes that's venus i mean that's not car anymore car is anyways venus but <laughs> here you are spending like uh, eighty thousand dollars to buy a vehicle and that's Venus. You know, th this glass of water I have, this is the moon. But I go to the German store nearby and I get this, you know, uh, what is that sparkling water? It's like the soda is coming out. You know, it's like uh, branded and sealed. <laughs> then the water becomes Venus. So, <laughs> in, in fact, there was uh, one astrologer, his class I was attending one day. He's, he actually said... <laughs> Uh, people in astrology they keep debating who is the most important planet who is the boss of all planets they say oh maybe it's the sun because he's the king they say it's rahu some say it is you know mars whatever jupiter they said no venus is the king <laughs> because he is the only damn planet which can <laughs> which can behave like every other planet <laughs> And still uh, be as if he's not Venus. Okay, so but, but like, you know, a, a mother who is always taking photos of her baby and uploading in Instagram, people, people, what will they say? Oh, you're such a nice mother. You're such a caring mother. You know? <laughs> but she is actually behaving like Venus, which is, you know, showbiz, stardom and all this. So... Venus is uh, is very smart because he can behave like any other planet. He's like salt. When salt is there, you will not know. So yeah, Venus is the most important planet in my opinion in like Kali Yuga, in this Kali Yuga as per the Vedic scriptures because people are having everything. The only thing they don't have is Venus. <laughs> So, when people say they don't have this, they don't actually mean they don't have that. They mean they don't have Venus in that form. Like, uh, like you know, you, you meet some boy who is uh, like 21, 22 years old. You tell him in India, oh, hey, it's time for you to get married. You know, the father, mother says, we'll search for some girls. And you talk to him after five years when he's 28. And he will say, oh, no, my mother, father couldn't find any girl. And then you call the mother and ask, hey, uh, auntie, did you not find a girl? He said, oh, we found 500 girls, but he rejected everybody because he didn't like the appearance. So basically, he's not rejecting girls. He's rejecting girls who are not like Venus. Okay. So people say, I don't have money to buy a car. Now you can always buy a car, like two, three thousand dollars, some second hand car you can buy. But what you will say, no, I don't have money to buy a car because you want to buy a car, which is, you know, like 40, 50 thousand dollars. So everybody wants Venus. They, they want, they claim to want other things, but actually they want Venus. 
because venus is the prime it's the most shining planet in the sky so everybody is wanting that shine and why that is happening these days more and more because uh, people are <laughs> not having anything higher they don't have any spiritual goals spiritual wisdom and if you uh, this is the last thing maybe i'll tell about venus which is very interesting if you uh, read in our vedic tradition there are you know different planetary systems like the one we are situated currently where the earth is that is the seventh planetary system it is called as bhuloka so above that Above the Bhuloka, there is Bhuvar Loka. Then there is Swarga Loka. So the Swarga Loka and above one or two, uh, Swarga Loka and Swarga Loka specially is known as the heavenly planets. Okay. <clears throat> and every planet is actually signifying or ruling uh, something, some planetary system. So uh, the planet Venus represents the Swarga Loka, the heavenly realms. So, when people say in movies and novels that when you fall in love, you feel like you are in heaven, that's actually correct. Because the person is physically in the Bhuloka, but mentally he's in the Swarga Loka. <laughs> but then above, above Swarga Loka, there is Mahar Loka and there are different planetary systems, Jnana Loka, Tapa Loka, and the topmost planetary system is Satya Loka. That is ruled by Jupiter. So, Anybody who wants to go beyond the Venusian influences, there is only one way you can do it. And that is through going in the domain of Jupiter. That does not mean you have to leave everything and run to the forest. No, it doesn't mean that. It means you have the necessary things that are required in your life. You have a good wife, children, car, husband, good house. You have everything. Nothing wrong with it. But... Your focus should be to elevate your consciousness spiritually and then luxuries are there or not there. <laughs> it won't matter for you. <laughs> Let's say the people have a really bad chart, but uh, one of the partners has a very good Jupiter. Would that have the ability to save a marriage? Uh, if Now, when you say a bad marriage, it depends to what degree. 